What is going on everyone? Welcome back. Episode 3 of the Pokemon Yellow playthrough. Now, we are in quite the pickle, alright? We are in Pewter City. Obviously, Pewter City. You can tell by the, the pewter color, the pewter hue. Pewter City is a rock gym, guys. That is Onyx and Geodude. And I think the trainer that he has in gym also has a Geodude. Uh, Pikachu's not really going to do anything. I mean, he knows Quick Attack. That's about all. He's only level 11. Caterpie is level 6. Doesn't really know a whole lot. So, my idea going into this is that we need to get ourselves Butterfree. We do that as fast as possible. How do we do that as fast as possible? We press down the space bar and go super fast. Then we... <laughs> you see how fast these battles are going? Whee! <laughs> oh, I love emulators. Aren't they cool? That basically takes the... Uh, ta oh, no. Caterpie's down. Darn it. All right. We'll put Pikachu in. Now I can... Oop. Nope. Run away. See, I almost don't like doing that because it's so super fast that like you guys barely have any idea what's going on on the screen. If you guys are wondering, I got to, I got this question a couple times. Uh, people think I'm playing this on an actual Game Boy Color and somehow recording it. Not really the case. I'm playing this on my computer. It is an emulator. Uh, an emulator is basically a program that will... Uh, it's called Visual Boy Advance. You want to Google it and download it. It's called Visual Boy Advance. It's basically like having a Game Boy Advance on your computer and then you download what's called a ROM which ROMs are basically the games. I have a ROM for Pokemon Yellow. And then you put the ROM in the emulator and then essentially you have a game and uh, that's about it. But uh, since it's on my computer for whatever reason they give you the ability to press the space bar and the space bar will make everything just go super fast. It doesn't help me in any way other than it's going fast. I don't have like an advantage during the battles or anything like that. It's essentially uh, yeah just uh, basically I can go super fast while I'm playing, which the hard, the hardest part, right? Darn it! I'm trying to get down here. <laughs> the hardest part is I'm trying to raise a freaking Caterpie. I think I'm gonna stop fast forwarding though. It doesn't make for a good show. You guys really have no idea what's going on. But uh, my my idea is I need to raise Caterpie up. I, it's been so long since I've played uh, like a Generation One game. It's been even longer since I've tried to evolve a Caterpie. I forget when Caterpie turns into Metapod, and I forget when Metapod turns into uh, Butterfree. So, that, I don't know. It's not really a good thing right now. I'm thinking we're somewhere around level 10, possibly 12. But, we're still having our trouble, considering that our freaking Caterpie can, can't get through a battle without being down to, like, one down to his red L. Ah, it's so super long and annoying, isn't it? Ah. On the right side, we have this cool music to listen to, right? <laughs> Let's see what we get. Hopefully, it's like a level 5. Be level 5, be level 5. Uh, level 4 is not bad. I think after this, Caterpie should be able to level up. One of the things I like about the newer generation games, like, um, you know, Silver, Gold, Ruby, Sapphire, and whatnot, is that they put the little XP bar at the bottom with the, with the blue line that lets you basically know how close your Pokemon is to leveling up, doing all that good stuff. So that's definitely a good thing. But right now, we really have no idea unless I were to actually go into my Pokemon, like into the actual inventory part, and look at it, and then it'll tell me. Uh, I think you'll tell me how much XP he needs to level up. But I, oh, come on. Oh, thank you. He should be level 7 now, right? Now he's going to try to evolve on me. I know he is. I know he is. <laughs> I'm not letting him. I'll let him get close, but I'm not letting them. I ain't letting you. No. 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 I pressed B. I was pressing B. Apparently, you have to do it right at the beginning. No! No! <laughs> Why? Why? No! Now we have a freaking Metapod that can't do- Actually, he should still be able to use Tackle, right? Or, or is it take away his ability to Tackle? Hold on, I'm gonna find this out. Maybe if it's only if you catch a wild Metapod. Right? Maybe that's the case. I'm not sure. We'll find out. I'm kind of excited to see this. It's been so long since I tried to raise a Caterpie. Oh, God, he's so gross. He knows Tackle! This Metapod can actually hit people. It's not like a wild Metapod that can only use Harden. Righteous. Alright, alright. We, we have a battle here. We got level 6 Nidoran female. Not too bad. That growl's definitely gonna impede me. I guess my, my attack's already low enough. I mean, I'm a Metapod, crying out loud. So... Ah, my, my whole goal, my whole idea, my whole strategy into this is to try and get ourselves Butterfree. Butterfree will hopefully be able to help out in the Rock Gym 
This is the hardest gym. This right here is going to be like solely the most difficult gym. Usually gyms are a cakewalk. You know, I, maybe if you watch my Ruby playthrough, maybe that's a lie. Ruby, I had some difficulty because I was definitely under leveled for a lot of my gyms going into Ruby, doing my Pokemon Ruby playthrough. But uh, I've played these ones so many times. I mean, Pikachu by himself is going to absolutely dominate uh, Misty's gym. I mean, the Electric gym isn't going to be that big of a deal. I mean, I don't have any Pokemon that are necessarily good against Electric types, but it's going to be a cakewalk. I mean, most of the gyms in these games are just so easy to beat, mainly because I've played the game so often and so many times that uh, I know what works, I know what doesn't, you know, I know... See, when I play, like, newer generation games, like, when I was doing, um, I was doing Ruby, man, I had no idea who any of these Pokemon even were. I'm like, what in the world's this thing? You know, and, like, Altarius, does that sound right? It's like this, uh, thing that looks like it has a cloud on the bottom of it. Apparently that thing, like, can learn Earthquake and stuff, and that thing, like, it, it, they just kept throwing me all these curveballs, and I never had any idea what was going on. Definitely, I think it made for an entertaining series, don't get me wrong, but it was definitely frustrating at some points. It was sometimes it was pretty annoying, and if you guys haven't noticed, my, <laughs> my attack is next to nothing right now. There we go. Longest battle ever. <sighs> you know what, I'm not even going to go to the Pokemon Center. That's too long. We're just going to use one of these potions. We gotta get Metapod up, boys. We have to. I apologize if this isn't your cup of tea right now. You don't like to, you know, watch Metapods use tackles against wild Pokemon in the grass. Damn. You notice all these Pokemon are, like, higher levels now that he turned into Metapod? They were all, like, level 3 and 4s, you know, when he was a Caterpie. Now he's a Metapod. All of a sudden, he's like, God dang, he needs to learn better attacks. You know what? He ain't gonna win this battle against Pidgey. P if Pidgey uses Gust like that, it's all over. We're gonna switch out for Pikachu. We're gonna gain Metapod, whatever minimal XP he can get from this battle. That's my idea, anyway. Let's go... Thrishock. And that should be the end of Pidgey. Maybe Pikachu will level up a little bit from that. Ah, we both each only got 27. It's not a good thing at all. It's gonna be a long day of battling. You know what? I'm gonna save you guys. I'm gonna save you guys, right? So I can edit this. I can crop this out and after it happens. So what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna like fast forward. Like I'm gonna do that super speed thing, but I'm gonna do it off camera. Like I'm just gonna like skip to the next part of this after Metapod's already leveled up a little bit. Make it a little bit easier on the eyes. Make it a little easier for the viewers. That's definitely a good thing, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do that right after this. Oh gosh darn it. Tackle. No. Tackle! I'm not so sure he's gonna win this battle against Rattata. We're gonna have to potion him up. Freaking Rattata is being all strong and junk. Let's tackle him. It's probably gonna take two tackles to beat him. Oh, damn! One. All right. All right so I'm gonna super fast mode this, and uh, I'll catch you guys at the other end when um, when my pod's a little higher level. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are almost to the point of evolution with Rattata. Oh, not Rattata, with Metapod facing Rattata, excuse me. Uh, Metapod evolves into Butterfree at level 10. We need roughly 60 or 35 maybe XP. We might have to do one more battle after this Rattata, possibly. I'm not entirely sure uh, what the math is, what level 4 Rattata is going to give us in terms of XP. So we're going to see what he gets. Let's see. 32. I think we need I think we need like 5 more. All right, this one battle, I'll do it. We're going to do it. We'll do it. Anyone? Anyone at all? Any takers? Any? There we go. I know finally someone would like to take on Metapod. And it's another Rattata. Mm. Alright, let's start off with a tackle. You know what? This is taking too long. <laughs> it's taking for too long. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna Pikachu it up. We're gonna Pikachu some minimal XP from this as well. Pika! Alright. Thunder Shock. And that should be the end of Rattata. And the end of Metapod. Well, we're gonna get a better free. <gasps> Metapod grew to level 10. Pikachu gained 16 speed. What? Metapod is evolving. Oh no, anything. <gasps> oh, he's so good. He's like black and blue. He looks awesome in this game. Butterfree learning confusion. All right, there we go. We have a uh, we have a move. Now let's get the Pokemon Center. Let's try out this gym. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we don't get torn apart. That's my goal right now. Not to get not to get embarrassed on my playthrough. That that is my that is my goal. That is my prerogative right now. Now I know if I use that word properly right there. Either way, that, that is my mission right now is to not get torn apart. Hopefully we'll do well. I'm relying on I'm re relying heavily on Butterfree this match. 
Let's go Pikachu. I mean, Pikachu, I mean, Thunder Wave, even the Paralyzed with Thunder Wave doesn't work against Rock types. It's that ridiculous. <sighs> we'll find out. We shall find out. Well, let's, let's, let's face this Rock guy. Let's see if we can get past the first guy, kid with a Geodude. Hey, you need to right here. It's a bad that I've played this game so many times and I know exactly what this trainer has. It's, a, it's one Geodude, if I'm right. Nope, it's two of them. Either way, they're both. Nope, now they're Diglets. Alright, now I sound like a noob. Maybe it's the other games. I never, I don't ever remember there being a Diglett. Either way, we're gonna have Butterfree out, who looks really cool. I don't know, a scratch. Butterfree doesn't have a whole lot of it, uh, hit points, but... Damn! That confusion's gonna come in handy. That confusion's gonna come in super handy. Oh. You sit down. Sandshrew! So, so there weren't even any Geodudes. I could have honestly sworn that maybe in Pokemon Red and Blue that he has Geodudes. Maybe in the, maybe it's different for Yellow. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. That would definitely be a good that would definitely be a good thing because I'm like I'm gonna lose I'm gonna lose sleep at night over this for crying out loud. Oh, wow. All right. So pretty much Butterfree came in and is taking charge right now, which is an awesome thing. Now he's level 11. He's called Pikachu in levels. That confusion is super powerful. Yeah, 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 give me all that money. Now, how much... We need to know this going into it. Oh, he's got 20 confusions left. Oh, we're fine. I'll just use a potion. I'm like, do I, I was wondering if I need to go back to the Pokemon Center to possibly, you know, to go pick up... God, Brock doesn't even look like Brock in this. Look at him. He looks so weird. I'm Brock. I'm Pure C's Gym Leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why all my Pokemon are the rock type. Do you still want to challenge me? Fine then. Show me your best. Yes, sir. Yes, Captain, my captain. <laughs> oh, aren't you tough looking? I guess he looks like Brock right there, but he really didn't look like Brock, you know, from the outside model perspective. But let's go with some confusion. Take, I wish it would take down half his health. That'd be great. I'm, I'm out of potions, mind you. So, uh, what happens, happens. Don't critical hit. Don't. Alright. We're gonna go with Onyx next. Geodude wasn't that big of a problem. Yeah, 183. Here comes Onyx. Let's go, Confusion. He's level 12. It may come down to Pikachu. Oh no, he got confused! Oh, hurt yourself! Oh no, you screeched my defense down. Oh, it greatly fell. Oh no. Come on, we just keep hitting with these confusions, we'll be good. Come on, hurt yourself, hurt yourself! Yes! Onyx down! There's a downed Onyx on the field. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have earned our first badge. Now, Butterfree, now past Pikachu in levels. Oh, Butterfree. Such a good idea getting Butterfree. I took you for granted this proof of your victory. Here's the boulder badge, and you received the boulder badge. I love the sound. So rewarding, the music in this game. That's the official Pokemon League badge. It's bears Pokemon become more powerful. The techniques flash cannot be used anytime. Nero. All that money, yeah. Wait, take this with you too. What would TM34 be? Needs technique that can be taught to a Pokemon. A TM is only good once, so when you use it to teach a new technique, pick the Pokemon carefully. Needs bite. Your Pokemon will absorb damage in battle and then pay it back double. I don't have any Pokemon that are strong enough to be using that, but thank you. Let's go talk to our little guy. Just a thought, your Pokemon champ material. <laughs> Pure City Pokemon Gym, Leader Brock, Winning Trainers, Toucan, Nero. Ah, that damn Toucan. Bum, bum. Now what, man? The episode's almost over. We can go in here, but there's not even a whole lot in the Science Museum anyway. So I'm thinking Pokemon Center, maybe stop by the Pokemart, and we'll make our way down the next route a little bit, and uh, make our way towards Mount Moon. Then Mount Moon will be our will be our uh, starting point for tomorrow's episode. So Mount Moon's no fun, by the way. <laughs> Mount Moon is no fun at all. I hate Mount Moon. I hate caves. I hate caves in general. Just the amount of Zubats. They're everywhere, right? <sighs> I hate them. So we're going to go to the Pokemart. That is, my, that is next on my checklist here is to go to the Pokemart. We're going to pick up some potions because potions are a good thing. Hello, I would like to buy. I would like to buy. I want to just blow all my money on potions. There we go. 
because Mount Moon, Mount Moon is no easy task. Especially with an electric Pokemon. Speaking of electric Pokemon, I should get Pikachu out first now that uh, Butterfree is the top person in my party. Oh, light change. These guys are all bug trainers, if I remember correctly. I'm almost 110% sure on that. Yep, let's get remember this guy. He said, uh, I, I met you in Viridian Forest. Pika! Thunder Shock. Thunder Shock that bitch. <laughs> He's paralyzed. Too easy. If I remember right, one of the coolest things about this is this is like one of the best places in the game or in Pokemon Yellow. Anyway, it's like so well put together because this area is just literally flooded with trainers. That, that that's just that's just nature of the beast in this area. So many people in this area that basically you uh, raise up your Pokemon pretty well just from all these battles. And Pikachu's now level 12. Righteous. I'll use a Weedle. Why change my Pokemans? No, ma'am. Hi, right, Weedle actually looks pretty cool in this game. I think it's honestly the first Weedle we've ran into. Maybe not. Maybe we faced one earlier. I'm not sure. All the battles just kind of blend in. Because I use the same move over and over, that being Thunder Shock. <laughs> I'm going to use a quick attack right now, though. There it is. Wow. And there goes Weedle. He's using 100 XP per battle, or per, you know, win, so that's kind of a good idea, or a good thing. Definitely helps. Let's try some quick attacks. Let's see what quick attacks do in terms of base damage. Not bad. Not bad at all, actually. I still think it's going to take more than three. Yeah, I'm going to use the Thunder Shock now. Alright, and there goes this guy. Pretty much a, uh, pretty much just an area of training. It's almost like, uh, it's, it's basically what this is. If I had to label this area, like if I had to name it or describe this area to someone who's, who, who's like new to the game, I would just call this a training area. Look how many, look how many Pokemon trainers are around. It's almost like ridiculous how many people are around right now. <laughs> He's a youngster. Is it Youngster Joey? Oh, it's just Youngster. They don't have names. I forgot. Uh, they don't have names in these games. Oh, Youngster Joey, he's cool. <laughs> always calling you in Pokemon Silver or Gold. Always calling you to talk about his Rattata and how cool it is. But it is kind of funny this Youngster has a Rattata. It's kind of ironic. I think most Youngsters in these games actually do run Rattata. So, there's that. Come on, you puke. What do you think you are? Oh, shit. Pikachu's going to be mad at me. Pikachu is not going to be happy with me. Uh, I'm just gonna try a tackle. I think that'll be enough to take him out. Pikachu is gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna take him back to Pokemon Center. I'm gonna heal him up. And he's gonna be pissed. He's like, I'm gonna talk to him. He's not gonna be happy. Uh, hey, Neckins, cool. I actually, in my Fire Red playthrough, I had Neckins. I've only been an Arbok for a while, but they were just so weak. Ekans and Arbok, they were just so weak, and all they know is like Poison Sting and Bite. Like, <laughs> like they were. Uh, it was a pretty worthless uh, Pokemon to have. Although I thought they were cool. I mean, Ekans and Arbok are. You know, obviously, if you watch the Pokemon show, you know, then you know Ekans and Arbok are pretty sweet. Nope. Let's run back and get yelled at by Pikachu, who's no longer following me because he's half alive in my ball. <sighs> He's gonna be so angry. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. We're here, Pokemon, back to perfect health. Do you know? Thank you, your Pokemon are fighting fit. Ah, Pikachu. Hope to see you again. All right, Pikachu, are you angry at me? Ah, oh, Pikachu still likes me. On that note, though, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to end off this episode. Next episode, we're going to do some training, and we'll start our way into Mount Moon. I'm not sure, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to make it all the way through Mount Moon tomorrow, but we'll figure it out. So, hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember, rate the video. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.